<laughs> oh yeah we're going bug hunting man that's so cool here take this glutch just because <laughs> oh poor thing uh, the combat mech doesn't even have to move hey everybody 8-bit josh here and welcome back to stranded alien dawn and this is an exciting update because it includes the new military outpost scenario and uh, not only that but this is the launch version of the game so again huge thank you to frontier developments for uh letting me check out the launch update uh yeah this does release into 1.0 on april 25th which is very exciting uh this game has been so good i've done a few videos before i've streamed it over on my twitch channel uh like i'm just i'm enthralled with this game and so yeah let's go check out the new military outpost scenario we're gonna go to new game the crash landing is the kind of the original one we had and then the trading post was released a couple updates ago and now we have the military outpost team of adventurers scientists and soldiers were sent to a heavily infested planet where they must construct and defend a core communication relay which will enable interstellar communication in the sector but the six team members are dropped on the unexplored world far from the civilized galaxy this is the story of their struggle so your goal is basically to build as it says build an ansible relay number 499 so yeah, as with all uh, updates, there's all kinds of new things added to the game. There's also, of course, a new survivor. So this is the new survivor added with the military outpost scenario. Ember Griffin, a daughter of a broken family. Ember emancipated herself as a teen, finished college, and joined her first special operations team at 20 years old. Her sharp intellect and fast reflexes soon won her the nickname Akira, meaning bright, clear, ideal, as well as multiple promotions, officially on a well-earned vacation, unofficially on a secret mission. She's now traveling to a planet on a, the very rim of the known galaxy. We are going to add her. Let's, uh, let's see who I want to take out. Actually, I'm, we're just going to remove everybody for now. I'm gonna start with Ember. I'm gonna add Connor. Even though he tends to uh agitate other survivors, he's got great combat. Which we're gonna need for um a military outpost scenario. I also want um I think I wanna go with Katina because she's a great healer. We're gonna want somebody to do Annette. She's got great cooking crafting and farming i don't want anybody that's incapable of combat that's that's for sure not in this scenario xander isn't too bad because he's kind of got all around uh skills like they're all fairly even i might actually kind of want yoko as well got cooking crafting and a high healing oh well, let's go simon because he's got high intellect he might be our researcher and we'll also go with jack because he has a really high combat he can do some construction cooking he's got high physical and uh really good intellect as well so i think that'll be our group Sending off some flares, okay. That's just to keep the local fauna at bay while we're landing. All right, here we are. Let's see, let's, um, gotta set up some basic, basic camp stuff. Um, although uh, we start with like very, very little. Not even enough to build a shelter. Um, so let's, we'll have our, our team 
Cut those. Rock chunks. Cut those down. Oh, the other thing I, I, I always do, and I talk about this whenever I make new videos, I go to activities, switch from simple to, um, I guess, advanced. And I just make sure everybody has a task, even if it's a, uh, you know, not their main task. I don't want anybody to not have something to do. Like first, like one of the things I always do, even if everybody can't heal, I'll make sure that everybody is, is at least going to heal if they can. And so we have Ember and Katina are kind of like, they have our, uh, the highest healing. So I'll give them a one, but everybody else is still at least a three. All right, there we go. So that, that's a pretty good kind of got all, all, all the activities covered. Um, so that should be pretty good. So as we go, the folks who are just kind of standing around are at least now doing stuff, which is what we want. You know, we do have enough actually to, uh, usually I don't have like housing unlocked already, but we have, we could build a stone house. We could do that. Maybe we'll build that like kind of right in the middle of these rocks here, make a nice little sort of natural defense. And we'll just do that. So then that'll just kind of start us off right away with a, a nice shelter, which is actually better than the actual shelter. Yeah, our goal is to build the Ansible Relay. And once you build it, uh, what will happen is you basically get attacked by waves of wildlife uh, that will try to attack you. So uh, that should be pretty cool. There's all kinds of new like defense structures um, and things like that. So... Yeah, very cool. But it's always fun when these new updates come out because I basically get to just start a brand new game and kind of start from scratch. Also, while we're here, I'm going to give everybody a weapon. So like Connor, going to get a laser pistol. Same with Ember. Going to give Jack the pulse rifle. There we go. Want to make sure everyone's equipped. And actually, there's... um. There's some knives there as well, so, or a laser, laser pike. Nanobot booster shot. Hey, listen, just happen to have this handy little nano booster shot. Um, I think we'll, we'll not use that right now. Yeah, the cool thing with this scenario is you start off with weapons for everybody. So, yay us. The other thing we need to get, let's see, we want... Oh, well, we already have like defenses. We could set up some turrets, motion sensor, a siren, which is cool. Let's get, let's get a workbench going. Put that inside. Already, already start off with electricity, which is excellent. Let's get a, get a wind, wind turbine going. Put that up. And then we don't have, I guess I need to chop down some trees. Let's go chop down some trees. Cause we need, we need wood. Yeah, we have all kinds of ins insufficient storage but what we can do is we'll get some stockpiles we'll maybe put these just like right here oh we got some nice boots over here too let's give everybody the nice nice synthetic boots honor's already got some on so does jack Nice. Oh, do we have, does everybody have vests too? Well, I'll at least give these nice vests to, oh, Jack already has one. Here we go. Cool. Everyone's sleeping because I didn't give them a place to sleep. All right, let's let's at least give you these little hay things. I need six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Another new thing is this food fabricator. 
which let's see i guess i guess we'll just put that right there we have the wind turbine up so we can get some more power going here let's, let's get a battery though the way we can store store some of our power Neat. Come on, let's see. Quick recipes. Veggie soup. Let's do until 10. Oh, it needs, uh, we need one of these guys up. I think we're out of stone. Let's go. We need to get some more stone. Interesting rocks. Shiny rocks. Observe interesting rocks. What about the shiny rocks? Where are those? I don't know which ones. Shiny rocks. Oh, that's these. Observe. Oh, let's get we we need it. We need a table. I'm I'm kind of like um I'm so used to starting with like nothing. Like in the the regular scenarios that I'm like not following my usual progress or progressions totally forgot about like tables we need some lighting let's do like a nice little lamp there ceiling lamp we'll get the research desk going as well nice we discovered some or get some research going while we're at it oh here's another new thing mechs new to the game yeah heck yeah Ooh, meat printing Battery optimization. Yes, please. Searchlights. Tasty meal fabrication. Refrigerators. Fabricator ma matrix. This is this is a new resource as well. Oh, let's get musical instruments because that'll help them from not uh freaking out over time. Oh, material fabricator. Definitely we'll be getting that. Alright. We'll go ahead and scavenge this spaceship debris as well. Get us some metals and whatnots. Let's get a uh, silicon leaf farm going. It's all pretty good spots. 100% growth. That's really good. We'll maybe put it like over here. There we go. Nice. We we'll get get some green grass. That'll be helpful as well Let's see we'll put that like over here oh we scavenged some liquid fuel from the um spaceship wreckage nice oh i didn't i don't know why i didn't do this one first it's closer but oh well so we haven't unlocked it yet but there is new uh carbon fortification with this update in scenario Hopefully we can get that unlocked. Nice. Finally finished our shelter. We got some lights going. Probably going to want, I would say, some windows. Ways. It's not so, not so drab in here. Uh-oh, we got some aggressive animals. Oh, snap. Oh, they're eating some, some, uh, is it buttermelon? forget what those are called it's like half pumpkin half melon well if those animals are gonna attack we're gonna need to defend but I think we should be able to do that also we have synthetic helmets for everybody Heck yeah we're putting those on oh they're attacking let's go everybody Look at him flying around. Shoot him! Get him! It's definitely different than like normally you just get attacked by by the like beetle creatures for like your first attack. So getting flying ones is new. 
I like it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and butcher all of those. We'll probably want to get some defenses up as well. I'm kind of like, I'm wondering, like, I want to get the diesel generator, but then that requires fuel, which we don't have. I mean, we have 171, but it goes through fuel pretty quickly. Also, you know, I don't know if you build more wind turbines, if that generates more power, I guess we could find out. Yeah, so we got two going. It, I, I'm pretty sure this is, this looks like it's charging faster now, which is great. Still waiting on our light mechs research. Not far along now, or not far to go. Here, let's build a glutch statue just just cuz <laughs> we'll farm we'll get some smoke leaf that'll be good for you know making some tea and whatnot I'm gonna build a I'm gonna build a wardrobe just cuz you got like you know you've got clothing and stuff I want to put clothing in in the wardrobe we might want to get some maybe like some floodlights going so that it's not so dark. I think I'll need another power pole for that. There we go. And then let's see. Yeah, so there's the Ansible relay. We need a carbon to build that. Which we don't have just yet. Oh, we got light mechs. I, can I build them? Oh, I'm missing 51 uh, metal alloys, which I think for that, I'm going to need to get an electric furnace, but I need 10 to build it. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to do a regular furnace for now. Yeah, this will be like our little production area. <laughs> So we'll do those furnaces there, and then when when those are built, we'll get we'll start uh, refining some metal alloys. Yeah, I want to see the mech. That's so cool. All right, for research, um, yeah, I've got refrigerators going. Working on the advanced. Well, working on meat printing now. Then the advanced battery. Kind of want to do this tasty meal production too, but here, let's do spaceship deconstruction because that's good for getting components like electronics and CPU cores and things like that. Oh, we got thunderstorm rolling in. Oh, I don't have, um, I don't have the lightning rod. Oh no. I hope nobody gets struck by lightning. Oh. I think Annette got hit by lightning. Poor Annette. Yep, she got hit by lightning. Scavenge this part here, or this spaceship. We need some more metal. What, uh, how much metal do I need still for this? Oh, I still need 51, so I haven't, haven't gotten any, but we have some smelting, so that's good. We just got another 10 just now oh we got synthetic textiles nice that might actually be able to make proper beds now it's crazy that haven't been able to how many of those do I have 42 and it costs 10 per bed which means I'd be able to make four beds you just so happen to have four empty sleeping spots. So we'll just go ahead and make them while we can. And 
and then once we get some more any kind of fabric we'll we'll build the last two <laughs> it sucks for them because they were already sleeping oh are we gonna build this constructing small mech are we gonna be able to finish it oh man we're still waiting on 11 more metal alloys but we've got like 20 going there is great oh the we've got the lightning rod ready for research Ooh, emergency rations probably get those two next oh we're building the mech we're building it oh this is gonna be so awesome takes a long time to construct though well while that's going let's do the 3d printer you can just We'll just put that right there next to the other printer, the food printer. Because that'll print uh, carbon tubes. Oh man, it's almost done. 95, 96. Yeah! Achievement Clanker Factory. Oh, that, that is cool. That is so cool. Assign owner. I don't know who we'll, we'll make it ember i i don't know if there's like hold on <laughs> mount it <laughs> holy crap that is so cool oh man can i make you move <laughs> oh that's that is cool Look at the, the the range of fire is really good too. Oh man, that is so cool. Man, that's gonna be awesome. All right, got carbon nanotubes. I don't know how many of these we'll need. It costs fuel and metal alloys. So we'll, we'll just kind of start with 20 maybe. 20 to start. Oh, we got meat printing almost done. Oh, let's get a dartboard. People will like that. That's a good spot for it. It's not a lot of room in here. There we go. Oh, I don't have any fabrics or leather for it. Here, we'll, we'll craft maybe like 10 synthetic cloth. I don't know if that... Will that actually work for this? I mean, it's considered synthetic fabric is a fabric. It's just synthetic. Should probably do some bandages too. We'll just have them constantly make bandages until... Oh, nobody has crafting four for synthetic cloth yet. Dang. Okay. So I guess we won't be building this. Dartboard. Sorry, everybody. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. Oh, here we go. Carbon fortification. But I think I'm going to do the lightning rod next. Because uh, not mm. only will that protect our survivors, uh, but if it gets struck by lightning and it's connected to the power grid, it'll, it'll power the power grid. We'll do emergency rations after that. Yeah, see, there's like all kinds of new fabrication stuff, which is awesome. Oh, look at this combat mech. Got force fields. Oh, man. This is going to be so cool. Imagine having a mech for every survivor. That would be... That would be wicked cool. Here, we, I'm going to observe these because we can make leather from those. Observe those. We'll mine that ore and silicon. Ooh, we've got, we've got meat fabrication, which I guess is that just under the food processor or food fabricator? It looked like in the thing that it was its own type of fabricator. Oh, we've got solar panels now. Although I have no scrap metal. Let's see. I don't. I don't have this salvage um, just yet. But we'll just keep scavenging what we can from wrecked spaceships. 
There we go. We'll, we'll farm some skin bark. Oh, we got some aggressive animals. Gonna use get to use our mech. Joy. Where are they? Oh, they're in there. We've got ooh. Oh, this one, if it's a big one, can be a problem. Hold on. We can draft everybody. Ember! Of course I have no power for my lights now. Oh, who passed out? Seriously? Oh, here they come. Annette, again. Did she get struck by lightning again? Oh, there they are. Oh, man, that is a big one. Get them, everybody. Shoot them. Oh, look at the mech go. It just... Oh, that's so cool. All right, there we go. But everybody... Annette just fell asleep. She was just too tired oh that's Katina but Annette did earlier oh well what can you do let's observe these while we can and of course we will butcher them as well man the mech is so cool that's such an awesome addition why are you vomiting and vomit right in the doorway where everybody walks dummy I wonder if I should if I have enough to give them a nice flooring that'll at least help with the the cave dweller because they're survivors on an alien planet but they're complaining about their shelter made of stone mind you because it doesn't have a nice floor so they call it so they have cave dweller syndrome or whatever like, man, picky. Fine, I'll give you a nice parquet floor if that's what you want. I like you get a statue with, like, when you observe different creatures. So these are observed. Go ahead and butcher those. <laughs> Constructing parquet. I guess that during the daytime, I can turn the lights off. Save some power, huh? At least the floodlights. I'll keep the indoor lights on. Oh, we got some synthetic uh, fabric again. So should be able to make the other two beds. Come on, somebody. Break down those sleeping hay piles so that I can build some nice beds. I guess I could just build the beds and then move them here. And I'm going to put a couple solar panels behind the house here. We'll get those eventually built. That'll help uh, with our power. Well, they broke down the two beds, but they're like sleeping spots, but they didn't they haven't constructed the beds yet. I'll go connect those up. Almost done with the floor. Cool. So now we got we got the two windmills and we got the two solar panels generating power for us. We're almost done with the battery optimizations, which I don't know if that is a new battery type or uh, if it just improves this. Oh, good solar flares. So our brand new solar panels are useless. Cool. Uh oh, is this busted? Oh, disabled by solar flares. Interesting. Yes, there's also the new carbon fence. Right now, none of our survivors has the skill level to build them. But hopefully we will sooner or later. Oh, who damaged our research desk? Is that Connor? Oh, did somebody incapacitate him. Is that somebody jack oh wait is jack the one with connor knock out jack there you go <laughs> the dude was just destroying everything 
I had to put him put him down. Oh, we can move these. I hope they move his bed while he's he's not fainted. He was knocked out. Connor knocked him out. <laughs> oh my god, did Annette get struck by lightning again? What what are the chances that a person gets struck by lightning multiple times? Nice, so we got battery optimization. Oh, antibiotics, we need those. I know I said I was gonna do, um, I think I was gonna do emergency rations, but actually antibiotics, way more, especially in the winter, way more important. Oh yeah, so I'm guessing bot battery optimizations just updates the battery unit. It's not like a, a new type of battery unit, which is cool. It holds double the amount of electricity now, which is excellent. So we're current re currently researching refrigerators. Then we're going to do music, um, salvage for the spaceships, then a lightning rod, then antibiotics, maybe combat uh, mechs after. Hmm. Because I do want to get emergency rations, but I also want the combat mechs. But I also kind of want carbon fortifications. You know what, we'll do carbon fortifications after antibiotics. Yeah, I still have the floodlights off um, just because we don't really need it right now. We only really need those on when there's an attack just because it helps the survivors shoot if it's dark. They tend to miss a lot, so this will help out with that. This is actually like a really good spot though with these two rock outcroppings uh, right here because it essentially means we can only get attacked from up here or down here. We can't get anything from the sides. Oh, nice. We got refrigerators. So let's do, we'll add carbon fortifications. I think, well, musical instruments go pretty fast. Spaceship deconstruction and lightning rod, all pretty quick. They don't take that too long. So in a few days, we'll have all of that stuff researched anyway so speaking of refrigerators we should probably probably add one huh i hate how you can't put stuff in front of windows like we, we should be able to be able to put stuff in front of windows um oh we built this a long time ago oh they already put stuff in there well one thing i don't want in these are apparel all apparel goes in the wardrobe and weapons can go in there too. So you know what? We'll also do no weapons. Look at our nanotube, carbon nanotube printer going. I love that our shelter looks like, looks like a dungeon with the stone walls. All right. Um, where do I want to put, do I want to put, I guess I could just put the refrigerator outside. I mean, oh, that stupid window again. I guess I could just move it and then I could put the fridge on the inside. All right, I'll just put the window there. Hopefully somebody moves that pretty quickly. There you go. Excellent. Put the refrigerator there. And then once the refrigerator is built, we will we'll do no food on the ground storage. That way, yay, we don't have to store our food on the ground. There we go. Excellent. Okay. So raw food, cooked food are no goes. I I love I, I'm not sure which update it was, but they definitely updated the terrain. And I love how like, you know, I built, we've, we've got like really like nice tall grass and like flowers kind of wildflowers growing, but then places where you build stuff, it's kind of more matted down. And I love that. Oh, musical instruments researched. Nice. We'll get those built. And then, all right, so we've got carbon fortifications going. Oh, well, let's do some tea because that'll help with them with their leisure. And we've got smoke leaf going. But in the meantime, let's build some instruments. I 
dinner. Wait, anyway, folks, we'll have some stuff to do. You know, it would be kind of neat to see maybe in like a future update. <clears throat> I don't know what their plans are after, you know, this is the 1.0 update official release. Um, but I've seen, you know, in other games like, like Banished, where the survivors will walk, you know, a, a certain path to get somewhere. And over time, you know, they, they use that same path a lot. And over time, it develops like a natural path in the terrain. That would be kind of neat to see in this. Oh, it's music night. Let's jam, everybody. I love how you can hear the didgeridoo. Why does Annette not have helmet also i've noticed the synthet synthetic armor uh is a little bit more varied it used to be kind of ever it was all like a blue kind of black color i've seen like there's like kind of a greenish like annette's uh helmet is like brown his helmet's green so that i i like seeing the new variation in uh the synthetic armor there. We got some aggressive animals. They don't look like a big deal though. These are just small little mantis thing. Now the big mantises, those can be a problem. But I think, I think for for right now, everybody's got laser weapons. We've got a mech. Time to mount up, Ember. Go everybody. And the mech has to walk around the rocks. Mech hasn't really had to do anything. Done. All right, we'll undraft everybody. Oh wait, hold on. Go back in there. Move you back to the to the front here. There we go. Good job, everybody. Ooh, research. Uh, spaceship deconstruction has been researched, so we'll we'll handle that. Ooh, lightning rod. Definitely need. If, uh, Annette has already been struck by lightning twice. Maybe. Oh, I don't have any scrap metal. We'll do like one there. And then maybe one over here. That should mostly cover the farm. Not to get some scrap metal. Oh, we should get it from hopefully. There we go. Yeah. Those searchlights would be pretty cool too. Yeah, let's do those. And then we'll do the combat mech. Fermentation barrel, which we'll do um, antibiotics from that. Oh, we can actually do that right now. It was already... Already researched. We'll do those maybe like... Over here? Oh, I can't build it right there. How about right here? The okay, the lightning rods got built, which is great. I'm going to build power poles for them too, so that they get struck by lightning, they will add to the uh, our power grid. It's already getting low. Cool. So we got we got the power poles connected to the lightning rods, just in case if it storms. Ooh, we can... Let's produce some red meat right now. What do we need for that? Actually, never built a cooktop. I guess... Honestly, I don't know if we really need it because... We're always printing veggie soup. Like, I could do some meat soup. We'll do like... We'll do like 10 meat soups. Why not? And then... 
you know honestly i'm not gonna do that we have the food fabricator i don't need cooktops Ooh, let's get antibiotics going we're gonna do like a hundred per barrel am i out of wood why is that not getting built i'll just waiting on somebody to construct it oh nice we got carbon fortifications of course nobody has the skill level yet need construction five what is what is everybody's let's see construction well ember is at four maybe i'll bump her activity up to two the next closest are connor and jack i guess we would need to do more construction well what we could do is maybe make a nicer um little storage area you could maybe make something right next to our farm oh spaceship just wrecked so yeah we'll we'll make like a nice little little storage area over here put down some of these trees i need some more wood oh actually you know what hold on i did that wrong cancel orders cancel i meant to do not a floor i meant to do the the roof actually because if you build just a roof it it does like a floor spot too so because i want it covered i just did the floor which has no cover there we go yeah so we'll do this make a nice little little covered storage area there we go do some steps on each side right, why is nobody oh, waiting for small mech to leave construction site okay weird let's just go there all right antibiotics let's go oh we got searchlights Oh, neat. Do one there and then what? Maybe one over here? So far, most of the attacks have come from back here. We only had the one that came from back there. Um, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do the other one over here. There we go. Is that also waiting for the mech to leave? Hold on. I need like a... <laughs> I need like a, a mech parking spot. Nice. So our storage is built. Looking good. So we'll get some stockpiles in here. There we go. Oh, why did that get... I don't think I did that. At least not intentionally and now i can't build it because oh maybe i can just do the floor then okay there we go <laughs> that's not what i wanted to do so how do the search lights Okay, they need to be connected to a power source. Makes sense. We'll do... Power pole there. Trying to think the best way. Do another one there. And there. Well, let me cancel that one. It actually... But this right here, oh, that'll be fine. It'll, it's gonna go through that, but you know, whatever, whatever. All right, and then we can start to empty out these stockpiles. And they'll start putting everything in here. 
Gotta also make sure no raw or cooked foods. Oh, or apparel and weapons. Oh, searchlights are going. Love it. So I assume it, it made it sound like source of light that detects and lights up hostiles in range makes them easier to target. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, because if you don't have, like if you get an animal attack at night and you don't have any lights, your survivors will miss a lot of their shots because it's dark and they can't see. Now I do have, I did put in these uh, tilted floodlights. But this will be good for actual combat. How's our research? Oh, combat mech's almost done. So let's get... What else do I want to... Well, combat mech's not almost done. Almost 50% done. Here, let's do material fabricators. Um, complex matter generating matrices to produce raw materials such as stone, wood, and metal. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do tasty meal fabrication as well, because why not? I'll do emergency rations finally. And fabricator matrixes, because why not? I don't even know. Do we have any of those left? I have two left. Not ideal, but so far, I think the only thing we've needed those for are building fabricators. Let's also salvage that spaceship debris. Maybe get some more um, fuel out of it as well. Do we have anybody? Did anybody go up to level five construction yet, Ember? Still at four. Oh man. We got a long way to go. So I think in activities, we'll make her like the number one construction person. Now we just need stuff to construct. I guess we could just do some basic fences in the meantime. Do it like a little stone stone fence over here. Yeah, that helped a little bit, but still got a ways to go before getting up to next construction level. What other random things can I build? Um, I guess we could do some like storage shelving. Oh, here we go. Some more aggressive animals. Where are they? Oh, good. They're on that side. I'm looking forward to seeing the spotlights or searchlights do their thing. Of course, it's going to be nighttime and I've got very little power. So let's see. And they're unpowered. Excellent. Thanks, game. And we've got no wind either. There we go. So my spotlights or searchlights aren't even going to do anything. Love that RNG. I can't believe, I can't believe that I ran out of power right as all of that hap happened. Oh, look, and the wind just picked up right as the attack ended. And there, the searchlights are back on. Jesus Christ. I guess I could turn these off because since we just, just had an attack, and we're not going to get one for a while. So we'll turn off the searchlights to save on some power. Hey, thunderstorm. Maybe one of our lightning rods will get struck by lightning. And there we go. Give us a nice boost in power. Should probably also butcher these things that are rotting in our, our homestead. I don't really need them. I'm just trying to find things to construct to get Ember's construction skills up to level five. Because until then, I can't build any urban anything. And I want to. Where's she at? 14 up man. Here, let's, let's. 
We'll make Connor and Jack two. Amber will be one, so she hopefully will do it first. She'll be the first one to like construct things. Got a ton of stone. We could do Oh, combat mech. <gasps> what do we need for that? A mech core and 200 metal alloys, which we have now. What, what, what about mech core? Is that something I need to research? Oh, sure is. All right, well, we'll do that next. Um, but fortifications. We could do more stone. Um... Here, let's let's go around here. How much do I have? 514. Okay. We'll just build this up to there. Well, this will create a, a natural entrance where they'll want to walk in. Actually, you know what? I don't want to do that. <laughs> We're going to connect it there. So that that'll be our natural little entrance where when we have attacks, uh, they always try to find like the easiest way in. So that'll that'll fix that. Ember's construction experience is going up, but it's I mean, we're still not even she's not even halfway to the next level. What else can we build? We could do some traps which isn't going to take a lot, but we could do them. Nice little path there of some traps. Insufficient. Don't have enough metal scraps. Well, we're salvaging, so we should hopefully get some. And I do, I want to build this combat mech though. Look how big it is. Holy jeez. All right. I'm going to place it so that we'll take uh, we have enough metal alloy so that they'll at least put the alloy we have into the mech. And then once we have researched um, and actually I'm going to cancel those so that the mech core is next. All right. So nice. So we put all of the metal alloy into the combat mech. We'll just have to wait for research. Can I cancel this one in the middle of it? Oh, I can. Nice. All right. So we're, we'll get the mech cores researched going right now. That's excellent. And then material fabricators will add back. Actually, I'll do that. There we go. All right. Excellent. Cool. So we're, we're salvaging both of these spaceship wreckage. Which should hopefully get us some um, scrap metal to finish the traps. And then, does it say for these mech cores what it takes to construct them? Oh, CPU cores, five of them, and two power cells. So, how many do we have? Oh, just enough. Holy crap have exactly what I need for two mech cores, which is what we need for uh, the mech, the combat mech. So hopefully, as long as I don't construct anything else um, that uses like advanced electronics, we won't use those for anything. All right, so let's butcher the scissor hands. Not Edward. Do we get enough metal for that? Oh, we didn't get any metal for that. I wonder if there are any other wreckages around oh, there's one yeah we'll scavenge that that'll give us some scrap metal some more over here too although i'd be hesitant to have any of our survivors come over here because so far with the exception of one uh the aggressive animal attacks have come from like this spot do i have enough fabrics and leather to build the dartboard yet nice Finally, after all this time, have some, have a nice dartboard. I love the leisure activities. I guess for drinks, the fabricator can't make drinks just yet. 
I don't know if there's an eventual like there's chef meals. Oh, liquid fuel fabrication. That's amazing. Yeah, for things like making teas and stuff, I, we might actually still need a cook stove for that. But I also realized never made a drying rack, which we need to dry um, like the smoke leaf. We've been growing it and we're just storing it. We don't have anywhere to... Uh, <laughs> you can't smoke it until you dry it. I think that's what we're growing, right? Yeah, smoke leaf. There we go. Let's d get some smoke leaf on there. Oh, aggressive aminals. Oh, they're like all right there. And again, at nighttime. At least I've got a full battery this time. Let's turn on the searchlights. <laughs> The searchlight's not... It doesn't look like it's doing what it's supposed to. Automated source of light that detects and lights up hostiles in range. Definitely didn't do that, but... All right, let's get... Let's butcher all of those. Can I move... I want it facing outward instead. And well, now I don't need that on anymore. Same with that one. All right, how's our research? Met core is done yet? Not quite. At 60%. Nice. Nearly done with Met cores. Yeah, met cores done. All right, where do we build those is the question. I wonder if that's, that's probably the soldering bench, which we need some metal alloy to do. Um, I'm gonna move this kinda in the corner and then we'll do this right there. Do we have any, is there any ore around somewhere that we can get the rock chunks? That looks like it might be some ore. There we go. Might be some there too. Nice. All right. So the soldering bench finally been constructed. We're going to do some mech cores. We're going to do two of them. Oh, crafting five for mech cores. No. All right. So I, man, I, I took some time to play the game a little bit because I didn't have any survivors with enough skill to make met cores i needed at least a level five and i was being kind of dumb and not realizing i was thinking uh construction but it was crafting and the annette was the closest one she had three level three so i just had her uh crafting cpu cores until she got to level five which she just did so uh she's gonna be making two mech cores cores for our combat mech been waiting so long for it to uh to get built i also uh did some carbon fencing here get to show that off i like the uh kind of neon lights and everything but yeah i was like i was thinking it was construction five so i was having ember build things like i built a stone structure over here which you can see the remnants of and then a, a wooden one over here which you also see the remnants of and i was like crap it's not construction it's crafting so yeah and that has been hard at work crafting cpu cores and now as she goes to bed she'll wake up and then she'll start working on the mech cores which should be pretty cool 
we've had a few attacks uh during that time but nothing that we couldn't handle honestly the mech is just the, the, the regular mech the small mech by itself is just a beast i can't wait to see what this does because the small mech only has guns it has like a gun on the front it's not even like just a gun it's like a freaking mini gun but the combat mech not only has a mini gun but it has rockets too actually i just i don't even think it's a mini gun it's these looks like a i don't know giant laser gun and then over here looks like would probably be the rocket launcher so yeah i, I man i cannot wait but we also went through a whole season of winter we are uh just getting into springtime which i'll say this you know out of all the times i've played this was like the least uh concerning winter mostly i think because everybody because with this scenario you start off with uh like the carbon or the synthetic outfits they're not the carbons but they do provide a uh, a pretty good amount of cold tolerance so folks weren't getting sick we had one person get a cold nobody caught ammonia which is or not ammonia pneumonia which is pretty common in the winter if you're you don't have enough like warm clothing so um yeah this this was this was like the easiest winter uh because everybody is wearing synthetic armor I also did some research. We just got, I've been doing a lot of the synthetic stuff. So we got uh, liquid fuel and just got silicon. Now we're doing chef's meals. And I have right here, I have some metal alloys getting fabricated, which I, I love this, these new like fabricators. I'm also, I'm also prone to uh, brownouts here. I'm just not producing enough electricity. Also now it's nighttime, so my solar panels are useless. But other than that, things have been going pretty well. Is this a net? Net going to sleep again? Why, why haven't you been crafting? I mean, I know at this moment there's no power. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna turn that off because that's using power. I'm not gonna turn off the food fabricator because that's our only source of food. I have not built the cooktop or anything because I haven't need to. Oh yeah, I did put the, uh, I actually had two fireplaces in here. I had another one over here during the winter, which also helped. It, it kept the inside nice and toasty. I got rid of one of them just because as it started warming up, I didn't need it. But yeah, it's still a nice, nice, comfortable temperature. You know, it's still sort of cool outside. It's only 49. All right, there she goes. Yeah, go in it. Make our mech cores. I don't know that we're going to get to the Ansible relay. I would love to in this uh, playthrough, but I'll probably come back to this at some point like on a live stream over on my Twitch channel because I really, really do love this game. It's just so fun. I love, I love survival crafting sort of base building style games. And this has it all uh, and it does it really, really well. Yeah, I will say this is not only was the winter like the easiest winter I've gone through in one of these playthroughs. Uh, but I would say just in general, like I haven't, uh Oh, meteor rain. Don't hit my camp, please. Uh, but just in general has been the easiest, like the combat. Oh, that one was really close. But because of the, the even the, just having the small mech has made combat like we've had some pretty big creatures attack and they've been like nothing because of the small mech. And then also like food has never been a problem because we have the fabricator. 
and start off with that like right away in this scenario so you just immediately start printing food i did do some farming just because i don't know it's it's a big part of the game it wasn't needed for this uh particular playthrough with this scenario all right so annette got one mech core done oh yeah just one more mech core and our combat mech will be done just waiting on annette just taking taking her time that's okay <laughs> i think she was just going to eat something and i'm like nope make the mech core you can eat when you're done crafting she's always like she's always holding her the small of her back like oh it's just oh so sore every day i mean she looks a little rough she's she's been a survivor and has some has seen some things you know what i mean like she's been through it all all right so she's she's working on the the second mech core we got our farmers doing some farming jack is at risk of meltdown here appreciate the juno statue that'll help you out Oh, there you go. I'm going to play some darts, Jack. Yeah, with these fabricators, honestly, what I think I would do in another playthrough is build one for, like, each kind of material. Whether it's, like, one of these. Liquid fuel is something you need a lot of in general in this game. Same with metal alloys and wood. Um, you could get by with stone, but if you have wood, you could build almost anything. The 3D printer, you see if you want that to make your carbon nanotubes, which gives you things like this fence here, carbon uh, armor, and all the, there's like the new, obviously you want to build this too, which costs 500 carbon nanotubes. Oh, look at a net go. Working hard while everybody's sleeping, working through the night. You know, once she gets this mech core done, she's done. There, there's no more crafting for her to do. Are you having a meltdown? Here, play darts. Who was that? That is Jack again. Oh, Annette is starving. Um, here, get, get something to eat. Do I not have like any cooked food? Hey, she made it. All right, Annette. Go get something to eat. But here we go. We're making our combat mech. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait till we get an attack. Or we could send our mechs out to do some hunting. Oh, it's almost done. It's almost done. This is like end game for me. I just want to see the combat mech. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Oh, that's so cool. It's kind of like a little, you know, you got to have your coffee mug while you're mecking around. Oh, man, that thing is badass looking. I think we should make Connor the owner. It seems like what he would do. <laughs> All right, so we'll let everybody sleep because it's nighttime. And then once daytime rolls around... Oh, you better believe we're getting in, getting in our mechs. Oh, perfect. I mean, it's, it's only the little beetle things, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to have Ember and Connor get into their mechs. Oh, that is so cool. Bring it. <laughs> Let's go. Look at the range on the large mech. I love that you can like like seeing them in there is oh man that's so good oh yeah 
We're going bug hunting. I like you can hear like the targeting noises and stuff. Man, that's so cool. Here, take this glutch just because. <laughs> oh, poor thing. The combat mech doesn't even have to move. <laughs> Take them. Get them. I mean, look at the range of the combat mech is like double the small mech. I'm just seeing. Is there anything else around? Are there, is there like a, a nest anywhere we could hunt? But man, that has me like really excited to like just playing another game, you know, get another like playthrough and having those at our disposal. That is so cool. Well, I think I'm going to leave this playthrough here because it's already gotten really long. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to the Ansible Relay, which is kind of the end goal of this scenario. But we did see the, the two new mechs. The combat mech is incredible. Man, that is so cool. I love that that was added to the game. But yeah, let me know uh, what you all think of this game. Like I said, this does release into uh, 1.0 on April 25th, which is just a few days from when I'm recording this. Tomorrow, if you're watching this on the Monday, this video went live. It's also getting a console release. So if you don't have a PC, you can play this on console. But yeah, that will do it for me. So thanks so much, everybody, for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.